on Undetermined Gaming. Uh, so, obviously, it may uh, be a bit different if you've been just watching the normal videos. Uh, basically, I did a live stream. Uh, I'll link it down in the description down below. But I did a live stream, and basically, I ended up uh, spending about two hours playing just live stream on Twitch. So, if you want to go check out my channel, then please do. Uh, the link is down below in the description for where my live stream channel is. I'm thinking about doing the Half Life 2 roleplay live streams on uh, YouTube instead of uh, Twitch itself. Because I feel like I'll be able to connect with everyone, everyone else who likes watching Half Life 2 roleplay on YouTube instead of just twitch and then obviously i'd be able to not have to wait for not a long time but a short amount of time to export my uh stream on twitch over onto youtube but um i think i'd only do half i do role play solely on twitch i think that's the only thing i would do but anyway yeah so uh i think obviously after the stream ended i think i just left it here I did a lot of exploring and ended up getting uh, four loyalist points actually, uh, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, basically, I got myself a. I found an empty uh, box of pistol ammo in the. Uh, in the. in the rebel base, so someone just left it out. Luckily, it wasn't a full box, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'll keep it. But then I realised, what's the point in keeping it? Because I've got nothing for it. I needed gunpowder to refill it back up. But besides that, like I was kind of there, like, yeah, let's just hand it in. So I handed that in, uh, along with a, that bone that I picked up as well. So that bone that I've had in my inventory for absolutely ages, uh, I also... I also gave that away to a CP and ended up getting four loyalist points, I think. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. And also, uh, one thing that I found out with the screwdriver that I had, I could have locked picked doors. So, for me going around going, oh, it's just a fucking screwdriver. There's probably uses for it, but I don't know anything. Well, that was one major use. Now, I don't know if it lock unlocks containers, because there's a lot of locked containers on this map. But what I do know is, obviously, you can pick lock doors and stuff and that was why the CP was so fucking like antsy about it was because that's why you know I thought it was a bit odd why he was so antsy about me having a uh, screwdriver but uh yeah uh, what I might need to have to do I might have to change my game to full screen because it seems like my uh Seems like my resolution is cutting off the um, chat for me anyway. So, oh! Oh shit. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okie dokie. So, yeah, I think the whole entire thing with having 10 plus players lagging out the server may actually be a thing. We have a lot of CPs on at the moment, a few. Civilians and some civil worker unions. Civilians, so. Not bad, not bad. What's going on over here then? <laughs> Improvise bomb. <laughs> Improvise these nuts. What's going on? Everything is fucking happening today. 
Holy shit. Attention, community. Unrest procedure code is now in effect. Fuck. Inoculate. Shield. Pacify. Code. Pressure. Sword. Sterilize. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to change my fucking resolution. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Basically, uh, I couldn't see anything like my talk screen, talk bar, so fuck off. I <laughs> didn't move from City 14. Yeah, sorry if you can hear people in the background. That is my housemates. Attention, ground unit. Mission failure will result in permanent off world assignment. Code reminder sacrifice, coagulate, clamp. the first time. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a job. I need a job. Oh my god, what the fuck's going on? Oh, we're changing maps. Change your map would be nice, actually. <laughs> Rebel Uprising. How, uh, unique. <laughs> Come on, Rebel Uprising! I don't know, I mean, I guess it is City 17, so I'll give them that. Jane Rosa. Yeah, I remember her. Alexander Waker. I know him too. So we got a bunch of guys ganging up on a fucking girl. Classy. That's per usual. <laughs> this is fuck, honestly. 
way. <laughs> Dear, you like cheap clothes? Yeah, I do like cheap clothes. Oh, that means I'm not going to have my fucking apartment anymore. Those are the type of people that, um, how do I say it? If they do proper RP, but they're people that hate the piss when they're role playing. Don't get me wrong, I understand it. You want to have a bit of fun and whatnot. But, like, it's those type of people that are going constantly, like, aha, you're a faggot. Aha, you're a fucking whore. You know, shit like that. But don't get me wrong, like, you know, it is kind of a. You know, it's kind of fucking funny at the start, but then it's kind of like at the end of it, you're kind of there like, yeah, it's fucking minji. Like, it's fucking boring. Do you know what I mean? But like, and then what they'll do, right, is they'll get caught out by like an admin or CP, and then they'll start minging, and then they'll get kicked or banned, depending on what they've done. But maybe these guys just don't like Jane. Maybe that's it. Who fucking knows? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Has he got a fucking scar on his face? Citizen notice. <laughs> you fucked up my face. <laughs> stuff. Anyway, let's head over here. Crisis City is a shell. Oh, the camera. <laughs> Probably has the clap. <laughs> Fucking hell. Clapper. Nasty. them Chinese. They seem so proud of themselves. <laughs> 